Let's see how to make the simple optical illusion effect here in After Effects. For the composition size, I'm gonna go with this preset, 1080p 30 frame per second, 5 seconds, black background. I'm gonna use this model as a reference and press Ctrl D to duplicate the layer. And let's go and select the top layer and move this image on the left, also press and hold Shift. Now let's go to the layers, click somewhere here to deselect. And here I'm gonna go and select the rectangle. Here make sure that you're in the fill, click on the fill and select the solid. Click OK and click on the stroke, click on the none, click OK. And I'm gonna start here and create a stripe like this. I'm gonna make it a little bit more narrow. And let's go down to the shape layer and let's go to add, select repeater. Now let's go and open up the repeater one. Let's go to transform repeater one, open it up. And here we're gonna need to go to the position and decrease the position. So we're gonna bring the lines close to each other. Probably gonna go with like 44 in this example. And let's go here to the copies, increase the copies, and just make sure to add more copies than necessary. For example, I'm gonna go with 55. And then I'm gonna select the shape layer one, press Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm gonna uncheck the first one and select the second layer. Press the letter P for position. Let's go and activate the stopwatch. And I'm gonna bring this to the front, for example, first, second. And let's go and select the rectangle, bring it out, press and hold shift. This should be pretty much enough. And then I'm gonna select the second keyframe and bring it all the way out to the second second. So it's gonna go slow. Now we're gonna need to repeat the same step with the top shape layer two as well. So I'm gonna select it. And I'm also gonna bring this to the beginning, activate the lines. And here what I'm gonna need to do is push it into the opposite direction. So I'm gonna press the P for position, activate the stopwatch. I'm gonna bring this to the front. And here in this situation, I'm gonna bring it to the right. I'm gonna press and hold shift and I'm gonna bring it somewhere here. But as you can see at the left, the lines are going to be missing. So what you need to do is just open up the layer. Let's go to contents, repeater one. And here we're gonna to need to go to the offset. And we're gonna to need to bring down the offset. So as you can see, it is going to complete it this way. Now it looks a little bit more thinner than expected. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of stroke as well. For example, I'm gonna add one and I'm gonna to need to copy the fill color hex code here, control C. Let's go to the stroke, control V. And I'm gonna add some stroke to the other layer as well with the shape layer and recolor it. So in my case, I'm gonna try it out with five. And now here, what we're gonna need to do is, let's go to subject one, drag and drop the pick whip connected to the shape layer two. Let's select the second subject layer and go to the pick whip and connect it to the other shape layer one. So now if you hit play, basically it's going to transition and make this a really cool pattern effect. Now as you can see, the beginning part is a little bit faster because I'm gonna need to select the shape layer one, press U, and I'm gonna bring this keyframe all the way out. And let's see what we got. And the last thing you can do is go here to the first subject layer. If you don't have it, you can go and click on this toggle switch. So it's gonna appear, click on it and select lighter color. And now you get a really cool optical illusion effect. Thanks for watching.